Hey guys, welcome to a new JavaFX tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a JavaFX user interface by using fxml files. We will create the fxml files using the scene builder and import them into our Eclipse project. We will not use Eclipse plugins, we will manage the fxml files on our own. Let's start by downloading the latest scene builder from the Oracle website. Oracle is no longer providing binary downloads of the scene builder, but you can still download the latest version of it from the Oracle archive website. For now, this version is all we need. I downloaded the Symbolo 2.0, but if you want to be up to date for the future, you can either download the newest sources from the OpenJDK website or visit Gluon. They are providing up-to-date binary downloads of the JavaFX Scene Builder. I will put both links in the description. No matter what you downloaded, start the Scene Builder and you should see the following screen. This is the basic Scene Builder. In the middle we have preview of our user interface and we will just start by adding a simple pane to the middle of the screen. Uh, so this will be the pane we put onto our scene. You could also use a layout pane such as flow or grid pane here. I will just do this as simple as possible. And we will add a control. So first we will add a button and we can easily just double click on the button changing the text. So I will say submit here and now we will need some form data to submit and I will basically put in a label here where we enter the name and we also need a text file to enter the name onto our form. So I just will put this bit closer together. So we have three controls, a label, a text field and a button. We now want to add some action to the button. So we go to code and here we add an on action, which is called when we press the button. So we can now define the action on our own. And I will just call this on submit click. Now we also need to add an ID to our text field so we can get the value of the text field later on. So we click on the text field and switch back to the code property panel. And here we set the F X ID. It's important that it's the FX colon ID, not the normal ID because the normal ID would be the CSS style class. We would attach to that. And here we now write TF underscore name. So that's all for now in the scene builder. We will let the scene builder open and we will now first create our project in Eclipse so we can directly save the FXML file into our project. So I'll go back to Eclipse, create just a simple new project, call it my FX. And because we are now in Java 1.8, we don't need to add anything to our class path because it's already added in Java 8. Just create a new class, which I just will call main. And this will be our class. We will soon add the Java FX application. So now we can save our created user interface. Before we do that, we will put in a controller name. On the bottom left, we can set a controller class name which is important so my controller class will be uh, I will call it my controller and if you are using this controller in a package it's uh, required to add the package name to for example de.dks whatever as the package name in front of your class otherwise it wouldn't find the controller class from your fxml file so in my case it's the default package so I don't need anything here we say save and we navigate to our project which in this case is my FX and I will put it into the source folder. So you, if you have some packages in here, it's easier for you if you just put it in the same class as where you will call it from. I will just call it sample FXML and save it. Now we refresh our workspace and we see the files here. So now the controller is still missing. So I will go to view, show sample controller skeleton. And here we now get generated controller where we see we have defined our TF name as well as our or on submit click action. So these are the both elements we are using from the FXML file. We just copy this and paste it into our project. And if you are facing this error that you get an access restriction, this will, will be probably because you are using the JRE system library. So just change your project settings, remove the JRE and add your JDK version to it. So now the error is gone and we will just have to import the JavaFX event action event here. We have now created our interface. We defined how how the interface has to look like. If we take a look inside the file, we see this is basically some kind of XML file where we define a button, a label and a text field and the positions of it as well as the IDs and some text labels and the action we defined. We could also change values here or in our scene builder and save it again to use it in our application. We have also created a controller which is attached to our user interface. But for now we need to connect those two things and display 
play the interface in our application. So we will now create the basic JavaFX application skeleton where we create a main method which will call our application and also add the unimplemented start method here. Now our application is ready to start but there's nothing to see right now because we need to add a primary state dot show and if we now start it we get just an empty window here. Now we will load the sample fxml definition file into a pane because we use the pane in our scene builder if you have some other element here you would need need to put this as your container and i will show you here we see it's a pane as the top level element so i will need to cast this to a pane and this will be our main pane which will be loaded by the fxml loader from the java fxml package and here we just call the load method where we can put in in the url and and this can now be either some resources in your jar. So this would be the resource in your jar or it can be a resource which lies somewhere on your local disk. For this case, to get the resource from your inner jar, just call main.class, so this class, and then call get resource name and the name is sample.fxml. Close this and now we have our pane loaded from the fxml file. All we need now is to add the pane to our primary stage where we just set the scene create a new scene based on our main pane i will now start this and as you can see this is the exact user interface we defined in our scene builder so this was the scene builder and this is the application right now if we press the submit button the method is called but the method body is empty so though nothing happens here we will just use a system out here to show that we are actually in this method and also we will print out the input value from the text field where we just say get text and we will run this again. I will enter the name, click submit, and you can see it down here in the console, the name that I entered is printed out. So this is basically how you can use the scene builder to create a user interface. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment and I hope I see you soon.